Okay, this is a very short uh, video here going over the central dogma of biology. There's three main steps, replication, transcription, and translation. This is kind of just giving you an idea of the bigger picture and putting all the parts together. So DNA can replicate, that's generating more DNA. DNA can also go through the process of transcription, where it's written differently, and you can think of this as DNA being written as RNA. Uh, it's being written differently. Remember, thiamine is present in DNA, uracil and RNA. And then translation. We're translating our RNA sequence to something completely different, in this case, a protein. And this process here of replication, transcription, and translation is what's called the central dogma of biology. You should be very familiar with each of these terms. Here's a little bit more detail for each. Uh, DNA, making more DNA is going to be replication. That's producing identical copies, and that's key for that. Transcription is DNA being converted to RNA. And the opposite of that we call reverse transcription, going from RNA to DNA. Some viruses may do this. The telomerases at the end of our chromosomes go through this reverse transcription, and that's going from RNA to DNA. Translation, think of translating a different language, is the conversion of RNA to a protein. And remember, that reverse transcription phase is basically going backwards. Typically, we think of going from DNA to RNA to a protein. Again, the central dogma here, this presents it in a slightly um, different format. We can see the same terms used, replication, transcription, translation. And in general, moving from DNA to RNA to a protein. There are special cases where we can kind of skip certain steps. Um, certain viruses may want to go backwards from there might be a DNA base, they might want to go to make RNA, so reverse transcription and other things in the cell. Gene expression is use of information in DNA to direct the production of proteins. This occurs in two, two stages. One is transcription, changing of the letters. Think of it as writing. In transcription, you're actually writing. And translation is conversion to an, another language. Nucleotide language to amino acids is a way to think about that. So we're going from our DNA to our RNA to ultimately our protein. And the same thing is um, shown here. We have our double-stranded DNA being transcribed to RNA. We know that's RNA because of uracil. And it's being translated now to a sequence of amino acids. Again, this is a very short video on the central dogma. Be familiar with the various um, terms used, such as replication, transcription, and translation. And reverse, um, we look here, we also want to keep uh, the idea of the reverse transcription. So hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. Be able to recognize these terms and provide definitions for them, which we'll go into more detail in other lectures.